Here's sound now. It's not a red light, it's a green light with a live stream. Uh, right next to me is uh, Niklas um, Miglio. Uh, today, uh, not playing because we have like uh, too much contingent players. Or is it uh, a tactical thing you're not playing or you're injured in, in, in some way? Um, you know, the team needed a little change. We uh, lost a couple big games the last, uh, last few weeks, and uh, I'm also not feeling well, so uh, it kind of goes hand in hand and uh, worked out with the timing. So. Okay. Genau, ich habe ihn gefragt, warum er nicht spielt, ob es jetzt wirklich die dritte Kontingentstelle war oder ähm, ob er sich nicht so fühlt. Sagt er ja, so ein bisschen von beiden, auch eine kleine taktische Umstellung. Yeah, we had a short uh, chat on the way to the uh, interview. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how, what's uh, to say about the game? It's uh, yeah, tough, tough thing to uh, like analyze it. Uh, what's your opinion on the game? I mean, it's a, it's a good game um, for the guys. We needed something like this. It's uh, good for the confidence uh, to get everyone in good spirits again. We lost a couple uh, big games. We led in a lot of goals last week. Um, so this is good for our group of guys, and uh, you know it's unfortunate for Essen, uh, being my old te team and everything, watching this. Uh, they're struggling. They're dealing with uh, coaching issues, and uh, both of their top scorers are gone. So it's uh, it's unfortunate for them, but at the same time, it's it's good for us, and it's at the right time of year where guys are clicking and doing right things. Genau, ich habe ihn mal gefragt, wie wird. Also ich finde es ein bisschen schwerer noch zu analysieren, das Spiel. Er sagt, hey, das tut den Jungs doch gut, die schießen sich so ein bisschen, um es mal ein bisschen plump zu sagen, die Birne frei. Es äh, sind ein paar wichtige Spiele verloren gegangen, er hat es große Spiele genannt, mit auch zu vielen Gegentoren. Und äh, ja, müssen wir sehen, was jetzt ähm, am, am Sonntag kommt. Ja, äh, yeah, so, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this thing. Um, so let's uh, have a look at the uh, games to come. Uh, what do you think uh, we're going to see? Uh, from the Zala Bulls in the next couple of games before the playoffs? It's going to be a real test. Uh, we've got some of the better teams that are playing the, you know, really good hockey right now. We have uh, the Hanover Indians on Sunday and they're, uh, they don't let in many goals. Uh, they're a good team and they're, you know, they're stringing win wins together right now. So it's, that's going to be a real test for us. Uh, and then next Friday as well, we have Tilburg. They're always a good game um, with a couple, you know, Crayfields here and there mixed in, uh, but you know we need to w get every point that we can going down this final stretch so that we can put ourselves in the best position for playoffs. Genau, habe ich mal gefragt, äh, was er jetzt für einen kleinen Ausblick hat für die nächsten Spiele vor den Playoffs, und er sagt ja, aber eigentlich freuen sie sich auch auf die nächsten Spiele schon in Hannover am Sonntag und wird ein richtiger Test fürs Team. Wo steht man taktisch? Wie steht man als Team zusammen? Und es geht halt einfach ums Punkte sammeln. Yeah, so we want to greet your father. We're not, we're not sure if he's like online live. That's always fun to have him around. Uh, John, uh, greetings from me and hope to see you soon. And Halle, and uh, we're going to have beer together. Uh, thank you so far. Good luck for the next games and uh, see you around.